We asked some seasoned recruiters a few rapid-fire questions. Is, is, is where it's at, take care of the candidate. Be patient. It will take time to get there. Don't get upset when you're rejected and be your authentic self. 100% um, find a mentor. Don't compromise your beliefs and morals just to earn a dollar. Face to face all day. Remote hiring, I think video hiring is going to be the future. Oh, it just depends on the position. If you're in hospitality or service, you're going to need to interview in person. I love the remote hiring process. Um, I'm also, because of that, I, I can tap into a much wider market of, or wider network of candidates. Talent scout. Roller coaster. Gratifying. Fun. Rewarding. You know what? The best part about recruitment is that no two days are ever the same. And the worst part about recruitment is that no two days are ever the same. Meeting new people every day and the worst is when you move someone through the process and then they reject the offer at the end. Okay, best, um, matching great candidates and playing an instrumental role in making your workplace better. Um, worst is losing a good candidate, <laughs> obviously. I've made some great relationships, so that's definitely the best part. Um, some of my really good friends are candidates that I've recruited in the past, um, but the worst part is having to reject a candidate after the interview process. Research. I guess I would love the ability to tell whether my can the candidates I'm talking to are telling me the truth or not. Oh, um, telekinetic persuasion. I could just get the hiring manager to hire the candidate I want and get the candidate to choose us. Um, you know, that would be the superpower I would choose. I would love to be a mind reader. <laughs> Having that superpower would be extremely helpful. <laughs> Sharp tech skills. Find an awesome mentor. You can't know what you don't know. Find somebody who does. Uh, do not get down on yourself. Manage your time wisely. Have a way to relieve stress. This job is difficult. And sometimes you need thick skin to get through it. Just be service minded. So being open minded and open to constructive feedback. Uh, Something I had to really do or start really have to learn from was learning from my mistakes, um, admitting what I was wrong and messed up and how can I fix that? Candidate's career. Transparency. Communication, all boils down to communication. Please, please communicate to your candidates <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> Um, well, whether or not you move forward with a candidate, I just say leaving them with a positive experience of your company. So even if they were rejected, I want the candidates to walk away still feeling positive about the company and the process. Um, I most recently had a candidate who went through our interview process before I became a part of the company. And they mentioned that they kind of just fell off the radar and didn't hear anything after that. And so I set those expectations up forward. And even though we ended up not hiring her, um, we still built a great networking relationship. She still speaks highly of the company and of me as a recruiter.